In the West, we've always seen it as a land of mystery, a vast landscape of breathtaking beauty with a culture as ancient as it is exotic. For centuries, we knew China only through its art. And for more than 2,000 years, the best example of Chinese art and craftsmanship has been its spectacular porcelain and pottery. Using methods passed down from generation to generation, Chinese craftsmen transformed the roughest of rocks into something beautiful, unique, and timeless. It takes precision and skill, unfathomable heat, a delicate touch, and raw materials that aren't found anywhere else on Earth. When you look at the process of turning rocks to warmers, you realize the process is very complicated. And each step of the process requires human hands. So how does something as ordinary as a rock become an object you'll use every day and enjoy for years? It starts with the right rock or the right combination of rocks. The rocks are pounded down to smaller and smaller sizes and ultimately ground to a fine powder. The powder is refined, first in dry processes that remove impurities such as iron ore and other metals. And then they'll pump that through a magnet, giant magnets to take any iron content out because if there's a little piece of iron in the clay when it goes into the you know, 1500 degree oven to bake, that iron will explode and you'll get pops and cracks. And so they have to make sure that there's no iron in it. The powder is then mixed with water and travels through a complex maze of channels where the larger, heavier pieces that can't be used to make clay sink to the bottom, while the finer, more pure particles remain suspended in a thick slurry. At last, our raw materials begin to look like clay. To remove the excess water, workers press the clay into large wafers which hang in racks as the water drips away. Ultimately, the wafers will be compressed down into carefully weighed and measured logs. Meanwhile, the design phase begins. Sensi artists and engineers are designing the perfect warmers. Detailed drawings are made and prototypes are carved. Once the design is approved, craftsmen create a master mold. We'll create a design, and from that design, a craftsman will hand carve what's called a mother mold. And the mother mold is used to create production molds. The production mold can be used maybe a hundred times. And about eight times a day it can be turned. The right type of clay is carefully selected for quality such as color and texture that complement the design. It's reconstituted into a slurry and poured into the production mold. The clay sets for a specific, carefully monitored amount of time, hardening from the outside in as the mold draws moisture from the slurry. When that time is reached, the excess slurry is poured out and will be recycled. The pieces of the mold are carefully removed. The object within is called greenware, and it's beginning to take on the look of the final warmer. The greenware passes through many more hands before it's complete. The greenware is soft and fragile. Each piece has to be individually inspected. Excess clay from seams, burrs, and other imperfections are skillfully and completely removed. The warmer's design dictates which steps, such as drilling vent holes, must be performed. And the opening for each warmer's light must be cut to exacting standards. By the time the greenware is ready for the kiln, each piece is consistent and perfect. Next comes the heat. Each piece is fired at a specific temperature and for a specific amount of time, depending on the type of material used. Temperatures range from 800 to 1500 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt some kinds of steel. The warmers that emerge in the oven, now called bisques or white bodies, are perfectly formed in a hardened, durable state. But there's so much more detail and so much more craftsmanship that still goes into every warmer. It's in the glazing that the beautiful colors and unique designs of Sensi warmers come to life. And to achieve those designs, our craftsmen employ a number of techniques. Hand painting, masking for multiple glazes, 
painted on glazes, dip coating, decaling, sandblasting, reactive glazes that change color in the kiln. These are just a few of the techniques our craftsmen and artists use. Depending on the design, warmers will be fired once or twice more to set their glazes. After the last firing, warmers go through a rigorous quality control process, after which they're assembled, packaged, and ready to ship to customers everywhere. Beautiful Scentsy warmers that will complement any decor and add fragrance and warmth to any home. What we see at Sensi is a beautiful warmer. And when we start to think about it, we know that there was a beautiful mind who created the design. But there are thousands of beautiful minds who turned simple rocks into something of beauty. Beautiful designs, the world's finest craftsmen, thousands of hands. It all comes together when we turn rocks to warmers.